Well, it's a very cold weekend in February. I'm at the hangar. Um, I haven't been out here in quite a while. So I graduated Air Force UPT about a month ago. I'm on to phase three now, so I'm flying a different jet. Um, but life has been pretty busy, so I haven't had a whole lot of time to post much let's work on the airplane. But right now, I'm in the process of moving in. So the Lancer has been pretty much in the exact same spot since I left it. I have flipped it upside down since then. Um, but yeah, pretty much all that's happened is the spar got glued in. Um, and then uh, I did drill some holes and get the motor mount mounted um, and kind of referenced. I do need to make an actual firewall for this. Uh, this is going to be aluminum. Kind of the goal with this, it, it, like if I could have it my way, is that this is actually up on its landing gear and there's an engine mounted in it about the time that I PCS, wherever that happens to be. Uh, and the reason being that this is kind of a pain to move right now. So obviously I'm gonna be moving pretty soon. There's a lot of bits and pieces. So there's an instrument panel over here. There's a fuel tank. That's part of the landing gear uh, hump for the nose gear. There's landing gear, there's hydraulics, there's pumps, there's motors. There's no foundation, right? Um, these are all just bits of spare foam. Here's a leading edge for a wing. Here's the belly pan. Um, but all of this is gonna be really hard to transport, but if I can at least get this thing up on its gear, I'll be able to wheel it onto a trailer. I don't have to try and move this massive crate because this engine's like, I don't know, north of 300 pounds. They're not light. Um, but yeah, kind of the current plan is we're gonna move the Lancer from this hangar where I can't really work on it because this isn't a heated space and that um, epoxy needs a pretty specific temperature that it has to dry at over to my garage. It's gonna be a little bit unconventional, but it is a, a place where I can now keep all my tools in one spot. I don't have to run back and forth to the airport because I live about 20 minutes away. And I can actually heat that space and get some real work done on this. I feel with composites, a lot of the work is just putting the glue in, waiting a day, and then sanding it, and then putting more glue on. So um, if I can kind of get into a process where I just come home every day and work on this thing for an hour or two, I think I'll actually be able to make some headway. It's not much, but we got the uh, Lancer unloaded and it is now resting comfortably in the garage. Well, we've got an engine. It's not much, but it'll make a decent core. There we go. That works. All right, so now that I've got the uh, engine moved from my hangar where it was being stored to here, I'm gonna kind of start pulling things apart and see what kind of shape it's really in. I'm gonna take some accessories off, valve covers off, spark plugs, take a big tight cylinders and see what we're up against. Um, I bought this as a core. I don't know if it's gonna run. If I can get it running just to do some taxi and ground tests, cool, but um, for the most part, my expectations are that this is going to need to be overhauled. So just looking in the accessory case right here, um, this isn't good. Looks like there's been a gear rubbing against this right here. Um, I don't know how I feel about that, but I don't see any obvious signs of rust um, or any corrosion or anything in here. So at least the innards of the engine are pretty good, even though the, ex uh, the exterior looks pretty rough. Um, but we're gonna keep kind of digging into this and uh, see what we end up finding. relatively clean in here. There's still oil on a lot of these parts, um, but it is dirty oil. There's also signs of, it's like, it's burnt down here. I don't know if this was overheated at some point. It might have been, so this might need, this might need cylinders, but the way it's in there looks really clean. And all the rest of these parts don't look too bad. Uh, I wonder if she'll turn over and if we can see that these valves aren't sticking. 
I think any of these valves are sticking, which is good. Well, it turns over. All right, so I didn't take a whole lot of time to take a peek at this engine, um, but it does turn over. From what I can see, everything looks relatively clean inside. Um, there, are some, there are some bits of where it looks like it was maybe got a little too hot down here. I don't know what that is. Um, but uh, yeah, for the most part, this looks like a solid core, and that's just what I bought it as. Um, do I think it would run? Yes, absolutely. Do I really trust it in an aircraft right now? Eh, no, definitely not. Um, so down the road, I think this is going to get overhauled either by myself um, or if I have the money and don't have the time, I'll, I'll send it off to get overhauled. But um, at least I know that for the most part, this is a decently solid core. And that's really all I bought it as uh, was a core. So from now on, I can shift focus, kind of button this up, put it back together, maybe fog out the cylinders so I don't get any rust in there and tape everything up to kind of seal it off as best I can. Um, but for now, this is going to kind of get put on the back burner and we're going to focus on just getting the airframe done. All right, so I'd love to sit and just play around with this engine all day, um, but some of the Lance here is still over at the airport, so I'm gonna go over there and try and move all the rest of the parts into the garage today so that I can use Sunday and Monday to get a real start on this thing. Well, after a long day and quite a few runs back and forth between the airport, um, just about everything has been moved over. I'm just missing the wing skins. I'm gonna go back for those tomorrow. Um, but as it sits tomorrow, I can re-level the airframe um, get it flipped upside down, start working on the, uh, the belly stuff and the rear spar, which is right there. And uh, then I can actually start cracking away at this thing. So the move is complete. Mm -hmm. 